There is what we call season and time. How do you know that the season of the place you are has come to an end? Well, a season is a period of favor if you're working with God. A period whereby you're provided for even without striving. A season whereby things work out on their own because God has put you in that position. When the season is over, how do you notice this? These are the things that you should notice to know that the season is over of that place that you are in. First of all, peace goes away. If there is no peace where you are, it simply means God is saying the season is over. Start praying for your next page before trouble comes, before they chase you out, before you lose that position you are and search desperately where to go or how to begin. The next thing that happens when season is over, it's discomfort. The people that you're staying with, the place that is covering you, the place that you are walking in, begins to fight you. If people were walking with you with joy, they start sensing a burden of your presence. They start asking questions like, when are you leaving? They start asking, isn't there any other option that you have? This is at the peak, a place whereby you have kept them to understand that the season is over until they face you and start asking you questions. They ask you questions like, are you serious? When the season is over of the place that you stay in, you start getting negative dreams of the surroundings that you are in. When the season is over, the voice of God silences. You no longer hear God, you hear your troubles, you hear your pains. When the season is over, everything that you do is a burden and not successful. These are the signs that you know the season is over. So if you're in a place where there is no peace, if you're in a place whereby you're, there is no comfort, if you're in a place where by now the things that they used to do for you, you have to do them yourself. When you're in a place that God does not want you, even if you do things which are good, people perceive them as bad. Even if you do things to your best, people perceive you have done nothing. There is no thank you. There is no mercy. All you receive is rejection. All you receive is people not liking you. So this is the time that you should sit down, seek the Lord before the time is over of that place that you are in. Know where you are going. Know you are God. Faith is your lead. Do not wait for every answer of the place that you are going into. Seek the Lord and trust Him in your life and you will never be the same. Favor is a sign that God has opened a season for you. Where is your faith? The place that they are calling you, the place that they are inviting you, the place that they are asking you to come into, where there is favor, that is the direction the Lord is giving you right now. Where there is no favor, it's a sign the season is over. So the doors that you have been expecting from the Lord, how do you know that they are doors from God? Favor is the key to notice that God has opened a door. So do not be stuck in a place whereby you have no peace. Seek the Lord on how you are getting out. Before you know, you will be in your promised land. Getting out might be hard. Maybe you might have to break some people's hearts. Maybe you may have to spend. Maybe you may have to go out of your place of comfort to be where God wants you to be but it will pay off at the end of the day. Even those who are making you uncomfortable now in that place will feel comfortable when you are in the place where God has sent you. This is why the Lord says, I'm preparing a table before your enemies. Your table is in the place of your favor. So when you see favor, that is a door. When you see unpeace, that is a sign you should get out. Start seeking God before it becomes worse and you have no place to go or you come into a place of shame. Some of us are so used of the place that we are unfavored that we cannot look beyond to see the place that we are favored. Stop 
worrying about what people will think about you. Stop worrying about how people will perceive you. Stop worrying about people who will not worry about your downfall. You are worrying about breaking their hearts, but they are not worrying about your downfall. So this is the time that you should set your mind and know where the Lord is leading you. Where He is leading you, that is where the season of blessing will begin and you will become a prosperous woman, man of God in this time. Do not be tied by a place whereby you're being mistreated, mishandled. If that job is all about mistreatment and mishandlement, the Lord is saying that it's time for another place. If that place that you are in gives you no peace, every time arguments, because the sign of no peace is arguments that have no roots. Arguments that come out of nowhere is a sign that we are tired of you. Questions that arise out of nowhere is a sign we are tired of you. Do not wait for people to say they are tired. Some people will never say they are tired, but they will express it through actions. Read the actions and know the signs that it is time that you pray for God to open doors that no man can shut. You are called into peace. Seek peace in each and everything and do not let anything take away your peace.